Welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. Um, I set up fuel and trash for both the stone and the copper. And... No. I fucked up copper. Alright, gotta come back to copper. But I decided, let's do the iron. And I'll show you guys how I did this. Because, first off, I was thinking, this is going to be a giant hassle, massive pain in my bum, and even then it might not work. And then it dawned on me, it's actually not that hard. Um, Alright, do that. And then the very first thing I do is rip up the train tracks I just laid, but that's fine. Get rid of all this train track. We're just spurring the other one out of our way, basically. Uh, no, you gotta go as well. Done. Okay. We have... This blueprint. Which I made at one of the other stations. But it's essentially... Well... Uh, okay. Uh, copy that to there. So, uh, storage chest. We've seen this before. We go green wire, there to there, and what are you called? Fuel iron. Change you to fuel, a uh, trash, uh, trash iron. Whoop, trash, space iron. Have I. Stone fuel. Yeah, so it doesn't need the SM at the front. It's got the little whatever you want to call that symbol to say, hey, this is um, this is the smelters. All right. So we set this to anything is greater than zero, being this storage chest. The station turns on. Simple enough. There, you do not have. Okay, we need to. No, we need to do lots of things. First off, that rubber port's pretty useless. Although I just stole, I just stole Logibots from this network. Uh, pick them all back up. Fill that one. Fill that one, that's 750. Add in five construction bots. Done. So, we need... Uh, let's find a trash station. You go to... Uh, trash iron. Inactivity... 30 seconds is what we've been using normally. Um... Now, you already renamed Fuel Iron. Uh, poor inventory. Uh, okay, now we need to bring power all the way around, and we need to put a robo port here. So these are now in the network. And that's going to cause call the trash train, because I just dumped some stuff in the trash. Uh, now. How the hell are we going to do this? With a wibbly wobbly. Yay for elegant train tracks. Um, we need to signal this. Where are my signals gone? Chain signal. Uh, there. There and there. And then I realised we have this track that, that exits. So, to make my life easier... Oh, please don't. Oh! There's always one. There's always one that'll hook up. Uh, you out one, bring you square, bring you down. Bring you down two squares, and there. Okay, we need a signal there and a signal there. Double signals there. 
and you're an exit track. Mm. And then we need a real signal here. Okay, after all that's done. Um, so you are fuel iron, which I've now lost the train for. I told you renaming train station doesn't always work. Oh, that's actually the train we want. Uh, why is that red right out? It's saying there's no trains. Um, devs, this is not clear. Fuel iron. Uh, inactivity. 30 seconds. Yeah, it's highlighted now. Okay, so the way I did this is I used a red wire just because red's different to green. And I said enable, disable. Uh, enable condition if rocket fuel is less than 100. So, the train will come along and deliver rocket fuel. And it'll fill up to 480, which works for us. We don't care. You know, too much is always the right amount, right? Uh, sorry, I just noticed I had legs in here. Doing absolutely nothing. So, it fill up to 480. As soon as it gets over 100, it stops requesting the train come out. So, it's going to go down to copper still. Because where's copper? Mm, copper didn't get, didn't get its wire. And I'm loving the new legs. It's faster than driving a car, that's for sure. And generally, you squeeze through forests much better than you do with a car. Cars have a habit of going SMACK! <coughs> um, unfortunately, we do get this slight pause when the only thing I can assume... Yeah, we just got it there. Is The only thing I can assume is it's the game loading the next chunk. Because... Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, fuck it. Trains can do another loop. I don't care. Uh, red wire, red wire. There, there. And you are enable, disable if rocket fuel is less than a hundred. Done. So, you're going to come to iron next, it seems. So we'll race back up and have a look, see. And the idea is now... Oh, you're running. Yeah, I was just wondering why they smelt us wrong. Um, the idea is now, the stations will basically call out the train. Hmm. Rather than the train running all the time. Because we're just trying to have less trains on the track. 380... 400... And you can see fuel line is now turned off. So, train's going to wait 30 seconds no matter what, and then hopefully, let's set that lower. Hopefully it does. It exits out via this mess, which is far from optimised. Uh, I want one of them, because I want to make sure I've got signals all the way along the exit line, because this little baby train will actually fit between the signals. The big ore trains won't, but that's a tomorrow problem. Um, honestly, I do have to set it up so I can fit an ore train between here and here. Which probably means fishtailing it out, and then fishtailing it back, and joining back in. Which means all this stacker has to move to the right, which is going to be a giant pain in the ass. Um, but in fact, our trains don't slow down for corners. So, I use lots of corners to give me more room between things. Okay. So, that's that done. Um, so, we now have trash and fuel for the smelters. We don't have them for any of the green circuits or anything else. Which is actually the next thing we're going to do. Is that the right side of the track? It is. 
Um, fuel first, and then how the hell do I get down there? If I go to Green Ships Iron, I should be fine. Green Ships Iron, Circuit Condition, go, no path. Hmm, green ships. That works. I'm not picky, because we need to re-mumbo-jumbo this section right here. You done yet, train? No. I'm trying to empty out this last this copper deposit to get rid of this one track. Um. <coughs> did I put a signal? I did, but I didn't put a real signal. That should be a real signal. Real signal and a chain signal? I think it should be a real signal followed by a chain signal. But that's okay. One bit at a time. Um, so, we're going to put one of these in... We're going to put it there. Without the radar, we don't need the radar. Now, we have these two lines from copper. This is copper out. This is copper return, because these copper trains here are actually on a separate network. They're on an enclosed train network. They can't get to the main line. The only station that can get to the main line is this top station, because it can come out through the out and take this up here, to go all the way up and back to the main base. And then it can take this little split off here and to come back in. So the plan is to actually change this so they go back to the main line. Also means all these joins here, actually this whole track here, has to go. And it has to be moved across so it's now on the main line. Um, which means these two turns are going to be very close to one another, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Um, it, it, it's it's factorial. There was much pre-planning involved beforehand, and then we promptly threw it out the window as soon as we started building stuff. Uh, delete, delete, delete. Train tracks, there. Please line up. It's looking good. Please be the exit. It is. Mm. Okay. One down. Nope. Technically, these need signals on them. Mm. One there. One there. One, say, about here. Another one, say, about here. Oh, you've already got one there. That works. Alright, so that's that done. Uh, we need to get rid of that train track and that train track. That, 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 random signal, all of that. Oh, thanks, auto save. I I'm trying to work here. <sighs> I got no idea how big the map is now. It's big. It's big, and the sad thing is, we need more outposts. So, yeah. It's got to get bigger. Just delete all of that. Delete all of that. Yup. Including that bit. Delete all of that. going to delete a little bit of this, because I'm going to cheat. Why 
I should really move the whole track over. But frankly, right at the moment, I can't be bothered. Oh, stupid trees. We need to hook up these exit tracks again. Yay for shitty train tracks. Uh, wow, you're actually happy. I didn't expect to be able to satisfy that chain signal's flashiness. It's got to come this way more. No, that track, that side. Uh, that track, that side. You're now flashing. Why be you flash? that off. Alright, dodgy track work done. At least the bottom part. Uh, come up a piece, and I know I haven't replaced my uh, signal wires, but frankly for the moment I just don't care. I'm hoping that I can get away without them. There, there, and there. No flashy, good. Um, ooh. There, there, and there. So, yes, he can get back to home base, uh, back to copper. Um, this spur line has to go, and actually I'm hoping maybe the bots in this, oh I can, they can reach some of it. That's good enough for me. It means that our main base copper line, a copper train, rather than coming down here, it's now got to go up and around, which would be a bit of a pain. Where is he? Oh, he is parked. Good, because the last thing I want to do is screw up his pathfinding. Yep, train, train line's broken now, so he'll path the other way. Um, so again, that, that, that gives us green ships, green copper. Um, copper and iron can now come in this way. Now we go back to our little blueprint. Um, which we will pop. Okay, I guess we're going to pop it there. We actually need to move this gauge out, because it's... Super close. Uh, two gap. Uh, we want. Uh, we want a train station. Okay, train station there. We want uh, that one and that one. We no, hang on. Your trash. So. Your fuel, your trash, uh, you get wired up to that, and it says enable disable if anything is greater than zero turn off. And you get wired to there, and you get to, oops, you get told enable disable if rocket fuel, where's rocket fuel, is less than. 100. Okay. So now that's done. One more square. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Yep. Um, um, I'm enjoying the process of winter already. 
Man flew, what, two weeks ago now? And still feeling like, yeah, some days. And today is just one of those days. Stupid game. Uh, done. Uh, we need to signal this crap somehow. There, 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 there. Oh, nothing's going to be happy about these signals. Um, we do need to put some signals before our turnouts. Um, yeah, that's really not going to work, because they're really not going to fit. Um, I have no idea where this power comes from or goes to. And although, Devs, you gave us this nice flashy thingy, that'll do. Um, yeah, you never bothered to colour code stuff. Thanks. Heaps. Um, and of course we broke power down the main line. Because I'm going to disconnect those in a minute. So, um, first off, let's do this. So, this is... Uh, what did we put up for green ships? Green ships are dollar sign. So, it is... Green... Oh, green chips fuel fire fuel uh, green chips trash now uh, we need this roboport to power up We also need to work out the special magic switches. Um, do you carry a signal? No. So you just carry power, which means you also carry power. Uh, radar needs to get moved into here. And you'll carry power. Done! Alright, power switches. Where the hell are they gone? There. And there. And you hold 1.2 million circuits. Um, where's my copper wire? We go from there to there, there, to any power pole, and we say on. Oh. We need that wire as well. Enable if this is less than... One million green circuits. Copy. Paste. I'll hook up that wire. Why are the repair packs split in half? Why am I carrying belts? These are the important questions in life. I'm still carrying belts. Now I'm not. There to there, there to there. Oops, confirm you're carrying it to condition. Good. So that's two done. You're not actually losing charge. Hmm, because I don't know what's going to happen with these guys. Because these guys will drop off the network eventually when they run out of power. Which they will do. You can see just a tiny bit's used at the moment. But in theory, they should fully discharge. So that's going to change the area of the network, because... No, it's just the last square is not covered by the front robo ports. You can see... Where are we? Come on. Right where I'm standing, how it cuts in. The network actually ends here. It was the very last square, if you guys remember, that was in the robo port network. So that should be fine. Should. That power. Uh, we're still powered for some reason. We probably shouldn't be. Uh, we needed a real signal. Technically, we can put one there. Technically, we can't, but you know. Um, actually, we need to. We're going to blueprint all of that as is. Because it should duplicate directly 
to that RoboPort. Now we're going to be able to remove that power pole. And for some reason the substation's missing. But that's okay. We can fix that. Um, okay. Unpower you. Unpower you. And unpower you. And power switches. We need one, plus we need two more. Two for red, two for red, two for blue. Done. Hopefully. Um, put that blueprint there. And that's for a different one, but that'll do us for this one. Blueprint that chunk. Because it should be identical. Should. those there. My copper white ah, oh, I just used it making making power switches. Uh, wire to there, wire to there. You should already be carrying the condition you are. Wire to there, wire to there. Uh, I'm sure we'll do another one. Now, you guys are probably not named correctly. No. Uh, green ship's fuel. You are now green ship's fuel. You are not green ship's trash. You need to be green ship's trash. Um, oh, and we need to do a deconstruction on that one. And on that one. I hope that I'm out of range. I am. God. Remove that. Oh! Broke it good. I do like the light up power poles. It makes it really, really easy to see when you screwed up and disconnect the whole power network. Um, that. No. Oh, of course, this one I've moved in the train tracks. Fucking stupid idiot. Uh, hook that up. Hook up power from there to there. There to there. There to there, there to there. Disconnect that power pole. And you should be broken, but you're not. Yeah, now you're broken. Um, go away. We want... Can I just move it out further? No. No is the obvious answer. In fact, I can't really blueprint you at all. Ooh. All right, map view, zoom in. We'll get that one in all its love and glory. And we'll pop it there. Mm. Add a map view. Done! How the fuck am I going to hook this up? No idea. There's always a tree. The trees are the real enemies, not the biters, the trees. Okay, so that's one down. Yeah, move the power pole. How's that done? How the hell do you get on this line, but No, too far. Yay for wonky train tracks! Um, we need a couple more... Train stops? Same story, zoom in. Copy and paste. I know I can, like, open the list and find it from the list. But I'm lazy in case anybody hasn't realised. Um, find one of these stations. You are the fuel station. We want you to go to Green Ship's Fuel for a inactivity of 30 seconds, please. And you can't get there. Why not? No path. Why can't you get there? 
What's worse is which green ship's fuel can't you get to? Uh, no, you can't get onto this line. Only the iron trains can through the smelter. Shit! Didn't think that one through. Um, the iron trains are coming through the smelter. Can the iron trains come down this track? If I disconnect, do you have bots? No. You're now a dead station. You're a dying station. So if I brought this track down and joined it in, I will... Okay. Uh, first world problems. But, alright. So I need to... Turn off power poles. I need to hook this track into here and change this to a proper side track and that fixes all our problems. Um, but we got the three green ships hooked up already. Um, we still have to do the two red and the blue circuits. But it means we have fuel in a trash and you saw how easy it was. That's how easy it was. If less than 100 fuel in this box, bring more! And in theory, now I'm not sure on this, but in theory because we have three stations all named the same, literally, it'll go to whichever one's turned on. If the first one's off, the second one's on, it will only pass to the second one, and because it's met its requirements of going to that station, it'll go back to the refuel station. And then, if it's still on, it will come down and pass again. And it will pass to whichever one's free. No, whichever one's actually turned on. So, if the first one's off and the second one's on, it'll skip the first one, because it doesn't exist as far as the, the train network's concerned. I'll go to the second one. Um, yeah. Um, solar is being deconstructed, which I need to go do another chunk of. Turns out we can control... we can do one whole... half and a half row, or half and a half stamp. We can get rid of, rid of one roboport all the way back to the next row of roboports in one hit. Um, and the new ones are being stamped down albeit a little bit slowly. Um, where is my stamp? Is that the right stamp? No. Tier 3 solar. And because I have a filter deconstruction with remove solar, remove accumulator, but leave everything else, we're literally just stamping it back down and the bots are getting it done in record time. Um, if there was any bots, if there was anything to construct with, they'd be getting it faster, but you know, bots be busy. Alright, well look, thank you guys for watching. I um, hope you're enjoying, hope you're following along, hope you're maybe learning something and stealing some of these ideas for your own base, um, because that's what I like to hear. Um, this has been the first time I've actually set up a proper trash train system. And definitely the first time ever I've set up a refuel station. Um, in the past, I've been lazy just going, hey, just, just, you know, every one loop around your, 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 your busy, you know, schedule, um, just pop over here and get a fuel, get a refuel. Um, this has been the first time I've actually made a smart, definitely a smart refuel station. Um, so, yeah, first for me too. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I've got to call it here because we're already up to 30 minutes, which is probably a little bit too long, but, you know, if, if I'm not accurate with, you know, half the things I'm doing in the factory. You really think I'm going to worry about whether we go for a 20-minute episode or a 40-minute episode or an hour-and-a-half long episode? Probably not. Um, but, yeah, like I said, that's it. Um, I will catch you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching, and hope to catch you next time. All right. Bye.